Hey guys, Ludus here, and welcome to Tech It. Now, Tech It, if you don't already know, is a mod pack for um, Minecraft. Um, it's it's really good. Uh, there's lots of stuff to do, and I've been going on this server with uh, my friends called RC Tech It. Uh, you will see the the, the, the uh, IP in the description, um, as well as various other links, like to the Tech It pack website and the texture pack. But um. Yeah, so uh, before the guys get back, get on, I think I'll just show you around uh, the uh, immediate area. So I'll start at the top of my tower and work the way down. Um, yes, uh, this is my secretary, Mr. Straws. Um, if you go in here, this is my office. Got desk, crafting bench, ladder going up the bookshelf. This sets off an alarm. Hopefully. The server can be a bit laggy. Yeah, there we go. Uh, come on. Okay, fixed. And anyway, in here we have, um, my bedroom, my living space. Got my chest, which I keep some stuff in. There's nothing in there at the minute. Um, got my bed. Got my chimney. This is like for Christmas. Like you can come down the chimney by means of flying down and then put the stuff under the tree here. I know it's a bit early to have my Christmas tree up, but I'm not the only one on this server. Uh, I'll show you where I get my power from as well while I'm here. If we go up the chimney. Up here we have my rooftop, top of Defectico Tower, and there we have our powered support supply. We've got two windmills here. These are providing power through this cable down into the secretary's room. So yeah. Now we got to head back down into the bedroom. Okay, um so yeah that's the top floor done. Now the power from the windmills is coming down through this cable into this bat box which is storing some of the power and then sending it sending it down into a larger storage device below. Because for some reason it wouldn't go normally. Because from here on it's connected with high voltage cable. This is going to be like the staff break room area. I've got my brother on the task of building this. Um, and then I've um, got my power floor. This is a generator. Use coal to generate electricity. There's none in there at the minute. And uh, this is an MFE, which is a larger version of the bat box. Holds much more power. And then here we've got the storage floor. Got some tracks here. I load stuff into a minecart and just shove it out the window because I'm tired of having to go down to give people stuff because I often like do dealings with some of my friends. Got the chests all organized into stuff. Got tools, food, blocks, materials, and machine parts. Uh, yeah. Now uh, down here, got the machine floor. Lots of stuff going on here. This is a coke oven. You put coal in. And it will give you coal coke here, or and possibly creosote oil there. So that's kind of cool. We've got a rolling machine, which is like a crafting bench, special crafting bench for railcraft. We have two kinds of crafting tables, the standard and the automatic one, which has the stuff stay in it, even because I know there's another version called the project table, but that's not allowed on this server, sadly. And here we've got an alloy furnace for red power. We use this to like make alloy metals and stuff. This is an energy condenser. This is this is very cool. You put something up here in the top slot and put other stuff here, and it will give you the equivalent value. Like if you look, I've got tin dust in my inventory. If I stick tin dust in here, you see there's an, there's a number there that represents how much what's called EMC is in there. Each item has an EMC value, and as you can see, I just cloned this tin dust, so I've got one more, which is cool. Uh, then we got a whole host of machines. I'll show you what we do as we need them. We got an electric furnace, canning machine, 
compressor, macerator, and extractor. And then we just got a chest. Simple. So yeah, that's that floor. And then down here, we're going to have the main assembly floor, where we're going to assemble the goods and stuff. And then um, we go out here, which is an iron door. There's, there's actually a lever to this up in my office, which is quite cool. And then um, here we got G my friend Geo's lab. He'll probably be the first on. He's making it out of basalt. It's unfinished. Here's a quite cool machine. Basically, he wants solars, and I want biofuel, so I can use my jetpack. So this is a trader. Right? I put a, if I put a solar panel in here, then a biofuel cell will appear in here. And this is how many he's got in stock in a chest behind it. We'll go more into detail with those later on. Uh, I'll show you around Geo's place later. Then when the render distance sorts out, over here we have my other friend Nathan's lab, which I actually helped build. This was all of our lab eventually, but we were like branched out. You can see his lab on top. I'll need to show you his place later. Um, so yeah, I'll just show you around the base of it. Over here we have a place where Nathan is also selling biofuel for money, which is industrial credits. So I haven't actually done that trade yet. Um, then over here, this was the bedroom floor down below, but we've now got a nether portal based here. So yeah. Oh, sorry. There's, it's been a bit. The frames per second are dropping as I record, but anyway. Um, we've got tons of furnaces, an alloy furnace, some crafting benches. This is the storage level of the main building. And then we got another condenser, some more chests. There were some machines here once. Then up here we've got our rubber tree farm. And also Nathan's trying to breed some beer plants here. Some hops. Uh, unsuccessfully so far. But yeah, that uh, there's one more place to show you. And that's unfinished. So... Yeah. I suppose I'll show you this machine over here. Uh, outside Geo's place, this is a mining well. This will dig down in a straight line as long as it's switched on and giving the resources and pumping them into a chest. So, yeah, and over here we have got my friend Ben's place, which he started yesterday. Um, he's using the old Yogg's cast design, you can see. I actually can't get in because he's locked his door. But. Yeah. So yeah, that's the um, basic surroundings. You can see Nathan's Christmas tree up top. But yeah, um, so um, now, today what I'm going to be doing is... Um, I don't know what I'm going to be doing. Um, what I plan to do is I'm going to put a computer in my office. So um, now, the first thing you want to do when you start up a Tech at Survival, it will start off on cheat mode, or not enough items, so... Um, you open up your inventory, and this will show up. Uh, clear this. Uh, got materials. Now you go to options, and click this so it says recipe mode. And now when you click something, it will uh, give you the recipe for it. It's like note block, tells you how to make it. Which is quite cool. So um, now we want to make a, mon a monitor. Which is here. Oh, that's not the, this is the kind of monitor we're after. Okay, so this is expensive. We need a lime lumar, red dope wafer, three wooden planks, some ribbon cable, and some glass. So let's see, how do you make ribbon cable? Fine copper wire, copper and diamond draw plate, which is diamond panels around iron panel strips, which involves saws. Okay, so we're it's going to be a while before we can make this, but um, let's get started right now. Go get some gear from the... Um, top place. Now, there's something else you want to do on this server because you, there is a voting system and if you vote properly you can get 20 diamonds a day which is really worth your time as you can tell. So um, you want to check the text to see like, if it says and sends a message saying this person has voted you want to click on the purple writing and it will send you to the website where you can vote. But yeah. So now um, to grab some stuff, We've got some tools. Uh, we need a diamond handsaw. Oh yeah, so also mentioned I've got a toolbox here. You just saw me use it just now. It, if you right-click, it will suck all the tools out of your hotbar, 
and you right click again it will release them so it's kind of a way of just keeping your inventory a bit more organized they're, they are known to be a bit buggy apparently though so be careful about that now we are going to need some diamonds nine diamonds so not cheap for this now we're also going to need some iron now first of all we want to make a diamond block okay block of diamond now we want to cut this using the diamond hand saw in a crafting bench so we get diamond slabs the diamond slabs that we needed to this Uh, diamond panels, so we're going to need to cut it again. There we go, diamond panel. Nice. Now we're going to need some iron as well, so we're going to need to make an iron block. There we go, iron block. Now I want to cut this. Now let me just check what kind of iron it was again, because so I have an awful memory. Uh, iron panel strips, so we'll need to cut this twice. Now we cut it horizontally this time. So we, uh, we get this. So we got four of those. That's what we need to do this. So now we put the diamond panel in the middle and put the posts around it, and we get our diamond draw plate. Now the next thing we need is some copper, which I have some of. So that's on me in here. There we go, copper. Don't draw plate. Fine copper wire. Now we're gonna to need to make quite a few of these, so it's gonna be kinda of, oh, they have a damage value. Oh that's epic. Right. That means we uh, don't need to waste tons of diamonds. I actually forgot that. Uh, anyway, so there we go. There we go, we got enough. So, we've got our fine copper wire, and then we want to craft that. And there we go, ribbon cable. So that's our first ingredient. Now we're also going to need the glass. Okay, so we've got... Now what else do we need? Uh, okay, wood. Grab some wood. Uh... Okay, so that's making progress. So we have wood, ribbon cable, and glass. We're getting there. Now we need red dope wafer and lime lumar. Uh, now we need some lime dye, which means cactus and bone meal. Uh, unfortunately, we don't actually have any um, any cactus here, which could prove to be a problem. So we might need to put this off for a bit. Uh, okay, so let's just dump off some resources. I always try to keep things organized. That's the blocks. Oh, wait, they, those aren't blocks. They don't belong in this chest. Yeah, I'm not on form today, apparently. So, materials. Uh, and ribbon cable goes into machine parts. So, actually, I want to get that dust back out. Because I'm going to show you bronze now. I'm going to make three of it. Uh, what is it? Where is the other dust? I know I have the other dust. Where is it? Did, it, did I leave it in here? No. Where's my tin dust? Um. Did I put it in here? Where's it? Where did I put my tin dust? Uh, well, I know I had some tin dust. Uh, bag spike. Okay, uh, come on. Tin, there it is. Okay, so, now what we want to do to make bronze, we want to put now you you put uh stuff like bars in a macerator you get its dust so I put some tin and copper in a macerator. I want to put tin dust there and copper dust like this. 
and then we get br two bronze dust for each one. So now you got six bronze dust, and now we smelt this, and it will give us a bronze ingot. Yes. So now we want to come over here to the furnace and get that cooking. So yeah. Now we want to come down because I think I saw one of my friends is online. Geo. Uh, I think I did anyway. Oh yeah, there he is. Uh, let's just call him on Skype quickly. Okay. Okay, he's on Do Not Disturb, so I normally need to send a message to remind him. Hello, Geo. Um, yes, I'm recording for YouTube, so, uh, do you want to show us what you're doing? Okay, so, well, at the moment, basically all I'm doing is getting some advanced ammo, so I can make myself an MFSU. If you look up in the tower just over here, I've got, like, a fair amount of machines. Oh, sorry, that I've got a little problem with that door. Yeah, I know, you got a timer hooked up to it by mistake. Mm, I've got an MFSU up here, mm -hmm. and all I need is advanced alloy to make it to an MFE, an MFSU. You got it the wrong way around, it's MFE to MFSU. Okay. Well, wh whichever way it is, yeah, mm. I'm doing it that. So, um, uh, something else you might want to note about the server, build craft isn't allowed, so we need to use these pneumatic pipes. If you don't know how to make I, them, I'll show I them later in the it. series. Bloody annoying, because they brass. Yes. Um, anyway, um, it has got a lot of the basic utilities. Now these are transposers, they suck stuff out of chests and off the ground and then send them through pneumatic pipes. They're red power. And this is an alloy wire here, this is very cool stuff. It goes up walls and stuff, and it works just like redstone does in vanilla Minecraft. It's an upgraded redstone, really. In a nutshell. But it's a lot more expensive. A lot more. Yeah. Uh, I'll also show them uh, your water power if that's alright. Oh uh, yeah, go for it. It's not hooked up at mm. the moment. So yeah, down, down here in the basement, uh, you see we've got submerged water mills. These are generating electricity from the water and sending it up through the pipes, a bit like my windmills do. You can do it by placing a bucket of water in there, and that will give you a little bit of power. But it uses up a bucket of water, so I've just gone with the... It took a bit longer to set up, but I've just gone with submerging them. Okay. I'll, I'll show them your solars as well. Oh uh, yeah, almost ready for the upgrade. Yeah, now there's um, four kinds of, well, five kinds of solar panel. There's blue electric solar panels, which are for red power. Um, and then there's the other four are, uh, for industrial craft. Now, there's normal solars, low voltage solars, medium voltage solars, and high voltage so solars. So what's this one on the roof here, Gio? Uh, the one on the roof is a regular one. Okay, so this is a normal solar. I don't quite have the resources yet to start mass producing the high voltage ones. We'll be showing you some other ones up there because Nathan has two low voltage up there. You can just about see them. And I will be very soon getting a high voltage. Yeah, because some guy just visited him in the night and gave him a snack of red matter. But <laughs> Santa Claus. Yeah, Santa Claus, even though he's a month early. I'm so jealous. You've got red matter. Anyway, um... <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I think I've got to go now. So, um, yeah, I think that's enough for this episode. So, uh, next time I'll actually do something proper. So, uh, I'll see you guys next time.